Hey there, Heather Gray here, AKA The Lime Boss. I'm a functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner and a certified bioenergetic practitioner. I know, it's a mouthful. I like working with fast paced professionals who have mysterious digestive issues, right? That you feel like uh, Violet off of Willy Wonka in the, in the chocolate factory after you eat something because you bloat so bad and you feel like an Oompa Loompa is gonna come out of the wall and roll you away, right? Or maybe, You've got brain fog where you walk into a room and you don't remember why you're there and you find your keys in the refrigerator. Or maybe you've got exhaustion, fatigue. There's not even a word in the English language to describe the level of fatigue you're experiencing. None of these are normal. None of these are, are all issues of something bigger. Could it be undiagnosed Lyme disease and mold toxicity? I know it was with myself. And even though the name of this podcast and my, my business name is The Lyme Boss, this isn't just for people with Lyme disease. This is for anybody who's been diagnosed with anything. Fill in the blank, diabetes, overweight, Hashimoto's, cancer. Because when you get to the root cause of these issues, it doesn't matter what the diagnosis is. These root cause um, uh, factors can be helped with every single one of the guests that I have on my show. You could learn something from every single one of these guests on my show. Before we get into that, I, a quick disclaimer, right? Like I am not a licensed doctor. Do not take advice from this show without talking to somebody licensed, experienced first. Um, you do not, you cannot hold us liable as these are the opinions expressed on this show, not, not necessarily based in, in health facts. So just make sure that if you do hear something, you want to follow through with it, that you're, you know, covering your butt and talking to your provider and you can't come back and sue me and say, I heard it on your show because I'm going to say, nope, there was a disclaimer. So but now we can move forward now that that legal mumbo jumbo is over. So today I'm going to be diving deeper into energizing your life, utilizing three essential health hacks for maximum vitality. Who wouldn't want maximum vitality, right? Like how many of you folks have just kind of go through the day sluggish, you know, marking one task off the next, just so that you can, you know, get done and get home and crash on the couch and be dead. You know, we were meant to live vital, right? Energetic lives, not just work. And how many of us just have enough energy for work? Don't actually have enough energy for our family. We don't have enough energy to play. We don't have enough energy for our friends. You know, that's not the way that, that's not what we're here for folks. You know, and it as a type A, you know, perf professional myself, I struggled with that. You know, the taskmaster that I had, which, 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 you know, whipping at me every time I thought I could breathe or take a break, you know, which is part of what led to my breakdown, right? So we also become more magnetic in this life. We are able to manifest our the things that we're trying to manifest in this world when we put in more time for play, when we put in a little bit more downtime, when we experience joy and gratitude, right? Like energetically, you have a person who walks in that feels easy, breezy, joyful, and you can just feel that playfulness on them, right? Or do you, you know, you got somebody else walking in a room that's heavy and it feels like they've got the world on their, the weight of the world on their shoulder, right? Like who do you want to be around? And who do you think has more magic, who has more energy, who has more joy, who has more love at the end of the day, right? Better health, more prosperity, right? If you said person number one, ding, 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 you're right. <laughs> so let's just jump into, uh, you know, most of you who know me, you know, know I had Lyme, you know, undiagnosed Lyme disease. I need to do the math now because it's been a while since I've recalculated cal these numbers. Um, let me take a hold on real quick. So I was 1343. So 30 years. So Lyme disease for over 30 years, it was undiagnosed for 27, mold toxicity, three autoimmune disease, which is I've, I've since reversed two, um, was a hundred pounds overweight and was extremely suicidal. Like no joke, 10, 15, 20 times a day, I would think about different ways of taking myself out of this world, mostly due to the extreme brain inflammation that I had, the heavy metals, the mold toxicity. You know, I'm kind of an extreme case, but I'm hoping to be a cautionary case, right? I tell my story and I get on these platforms is because I want to let people know what's possible. You know, I was just a silly hairstylist. I didn't have a medical background before I became a functional practitioner. I was barely functioning when I went through schooling myself and started putting the pieces back together on myself, you know, so if I can do it, you know, I was on welfare 
the majority of my adult life. You know, I, I prioritized my health. I prioritized me. And that's part of how I got better. So, you know, I, like I said, I like bringing these harder topics, right? These dark topics to light because that's when people can heal. And I hope to inspire somebody, anybody to take charge of their own health journey and they don't have to do it alone, right? There's so many free resources out there and I'll get more into that later. Um, but that was just a little bit about myself. We're going to pause real quick for a commercial break. And then when we get back, we'll dive deeper into the three essential health hacks for maximum vitality. All right. Stay tuned. Hey there. I used to not be able to drink coffee. I always reacted to it horribly. It hurt my stomach. It made me over jittery and would inflame me and cause histamine issues. But not anymore. Not that I've since I started drinking Danger Coffee by Dave Asprey. It's his next next level of coffees. He came out with Bulletproof, and now this is the next level up. So it is mold free, toxin free, and he infuses it with minerals and electrolytes. So unlike other coffees, they can actually pull minerals and electrolytes from your system for being because you're it's too acidic. It actually helps replenish those. And so I don't react to it at all. I get to have my bulletproof coffee with my MTC oil and my grass-fed butter, and I don't get the jitters, I don't get the crashes, and I love how focused and energized it makes me feel. Again, non-toxic, mold-free, infused with minerals and electrolytes, I absolutely love Danger Coffee. Make sure to check out my website, thelineboss.com. Go to the resource section and get yours. Thank you. Welcome back. Hey. So number one, let's just jump right in, right? The three essential health hacks for maximum vitality. Number one, prioritizing sleep. And I know this sounds like a duh moment, right? But really folks, you need to be aiming for seven to nine hours of sleep every night. Most of you folks, if you get honest with yourself, aren't getting that. The statistics are still really high that most people are sleep deprived. Sleep is a whole nother animal on its own. There are such things called sleep hygiene, sleep habits. You know, most of us think that we should just be able to go, 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 go. And then at the end of the day, you know, lay our head down on the pillow and go to sleep. Sadly, it doesn't work that way. There's a lot of things working against us, like these white lights, blue lights, green lights, screens, um, temperature in the house, how much light's coming from our room, you know, electronic devices that are near us when we sleep. There are so many things that actually disrupt sleep. Um, and then, man, when you dial that in, like right now, I'm actually dealing with a sleep apnea issue myself. And those are like the three biggest barriers to health that I tell people before I even really start working with them with Lyme. I tell them you need to rule out mold if you're living in mold, because if you're living in mold and you're trying to detox from mold, it's like my friend, Dr. Bruno at Vibrant Lab says, it's like brushing your teeth and eating Oreos at the same time, right? So got to rule out mold. You got to rule out cavitations. So that's if you've had your wisdom teeth removed, if you've had um, a root canal or another tooth pulled. It's some, I can't remember what it is, but it's something funky that's common practice in the dental industry that they leave something behind and then they close you up and then it causes bacteria to breed and get viruses and all kinds of other nasty infections. Now those infections, it's so close It's such a vascular area and it's so close to your brain that it causes a lot of brain inflammation, cognitive issues, energy issues, and uh, it scatters the troops, right? So if you do have Lyme disease or EBV or, you know, the coronavirus, your your troops are too scattered to to really mobilize and, and fight off the enemy. So ruling out cavitations in the last one is sleep apnea, right? My oxygen is dropping to 83% at night. Um, when I sleep and my average is like 90%, you know, so if you're not getting enough oxygen at night, when you sleep, (laughs) no supplement, no diet, no exercise routine in the world is going to help you overcome that. Right. So this is correct. You know, I didn't snore. So I didn't realize that I had an issue with sleep apnea. Um, I love, I got a, it's a knockoff from the aura ring. It's called a ring con. And that's the first thing that told me that my oxygen level was dropping to 84% at night. And then I would tell people and they're like, no, 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 I don't think the readings are right. And then I went and had a sleep test and I was like, oh, okay. So prioritizing sleep, getting into a good sleep hygiene. If you want more information about that, I actually have a free ebook on my website, www.thelimeboss.com. That's L-Y-M-E. 
you know, start there. Uh, if you need a referral, there's some great people I know that that that's what they specialize is in sleep, but you really want to prioritize sleep. I was one of those horrible people back in the day that used to say, I'll sleep when I'm dead. Actually, it's like killing me so much sooner. It's aging me so much sooner. Um, so that's a funny joke. Ha ha. But I, I wouldn't keep telling it because um, sleep is absolutely crucial. It is a foundation of health and really you need to be dialing it in. Um, number two, a nutritious diet. So this is one of my other favorite topics to talk about. I'm always talking about food and diet, um, because it's, it's, you know, I love car analogies cause they seem to be kind of easy. Like you wouldn't put diesel into your regular car and expect it to drive properly. It's the same thing. If you're eating a bunch of processed crap, right. Inflaming your brain, inflaming your gut, inflaming your cell membranes. So that way nutrients can't get into the cells and then toxins can't get out. Right. That's going to cause some energy problems, don't you think? You know, so um, looking at it at a mitochondrial point of view, too, there's so much research right now in uh, mitochondrial health and what type of nutrients, supplements, and diet are best for mitochondria health. So if we have these little energy powerhouses, we have more in our brain and our heart um, than other areas in our body that once um, those are actually pumping out enough ATP and, and doing their job prior properly, it's amazing how everything else kind of <laughs> works properly, right? So diet is key and not every diet is right for everybody. And to start off though, you know, cutting out processed foods, become an ingredient uh, reader, right? If you don't recognize an ingredient on the back of a box, nine times out of 10, neither does your body, which then causes inflammation. Um, cutting out in known inflammatory foods, especially in the beginning, like dairy, grain, wheats, wheat, corn are the biggies, uh, alcohol. Um, make sure if you're drinking coffee, you're getting a mold-free, toxic-free coffee. I have suggestions on that on my resource center on my website. But, you know, prioritizing your diet is absolutely crucial as well. Same thing with getting clean, clear water. Um, you know, we are made up of over 70% water and sadly the majority of the water is so contaminated these days or just dead that there's no real life force to it at all. Um, we're chronically dehydrated, you know, so really dialing and then prior to prioritizing that stuff, um, is absolutely crucial. I know doing this with the brain fog that I've had from the sleep apnea is a lot of fun, said no one ever. Um, <laughs> I'm actually going to get some more help in the next couple of weeks. We're diving deeper into it, but as of until then, I just kind of got to keep moving on, right? Pull, pull myself up my, my big girl panties and keep moving forward. Um, so what do we got? So we had talked about sleep. We talked about diet, uh, mitochondria crucial for ATP for energy, um, getting the right kind of healthy fats in your diet. Uh, number three, I know it seems like a no brainer. And this is the one that a lot of people have a tough time with is prioritizing uh, regular exercise. And so some folks are like, well, Heather, if I'm already exhausted, how the hell am I supposed to exercise? Or, and I get the opposite spectrum of people are like, well, I'm doing a CrossFit two hours a day. Uh, so there is such thing as, is a right amount of, you know, it's like Goldilocks. It's the right amount of di uh, exercise as well. Right. Too little, no bueno. We need to move our lymph that helps us detox, that helps all kinds of things by moving our body. And so sometimes it can be just as something as simple as walking daily, 25, 30 minutes a day. On the opposite spectrum, you have folks that are over-exercising and causing all kinds of adrenal burnout. Um, you know, stress on the body sometimes could be stress on the body. And if you have a chronic illness, that's a stress on the body. If you're over exercising, that's a stress on the body. And so when we're trying to get better and stay better, we try to remove as many stressors on the body as possible. So then that way the body then can breathe and take over and do its job, right? Because it's beautiful. That's how, how we're wired. We're, you know, we're wired for, for balance, for health um, when we get out of our way. And sadly, this lifestyle is not conducive to human health in any way, shape or form between the artificial lighting, the pollution in the air, in our food, um, the 
pollution, they're saying the indoor air is actually worse than the outdoor air in, in some buildings, in some homes, right? From all the plastics and carpet and crap, off gassing, you know, it can be really daunting. And I tell my people just take one step at a time. You know, if you can implement one new thing every two weeks, every month, right? Then you've implemented 12 new things in a year. You know, I didn't get here overnight. You know, I started off with a really awesome uh, water filter. Again, you can look at my resource section. Uh, I have a couple different waters that I uh, recommend, but I started there because we're mostly water, right? It made sense to me to start off with good water. And then from there, you know, I started implementing. It's, sometimes it's easier to take away some of the toxins in your environment first, you know, like upgrading you run out of your aluminum deodorant next time upgrade to an aluminum free deodorant uh, you run out of your shampoo that's got perfumes and fragrance in it and you get something that's a little bit more natural that's not toxic without fragrance in it you know so it's these little steps that add up to big wins over a long time and i know this sounds it's like the same stuff i've been saying and it's the truth and it's what works so if you want to dive deeper into how I overcame 27 years of Lyme disease, mold toxicity, reversed two autoimmune diseases, no longer suicidal, lost 100 pounds, right? I'm now running a successful business. I run two podcasts. I'm living my best life ever. I have energy all day, except for the little bit that I'm having a problem with the sleep apnea and the brain fog from the sleep apnea. Other than that, everything else is really great. Um, but if you want to learn more on how I did that, I actually made a, um, a online course called the Foundations of Health, where I go into modules on how to lower stress in your, in your, in your system, right? Because how many times has your doctor told you, you need to lower your stress, but they don't actually give you any tangible, you know, take home items to help you to lower your stress. I teach you some brain retraining, nervous system resetting, right? Getting your body out of fight or flight and into rest and digest a whole section on sleep, a whole section on exercise, a whole section on um, food, um, mindfulness, um, a whole section on toxins and detoxifying, a whole resource section, a seven, um, a seven day recipe um, guide, as well as an eight video cooking series. Like this is power packed. You know, back when I was selling it full priced, it was $5.97 easy. And people told me that I could have been charging $9.97 for it because of the amount of information. Um, and it's not like two hour long videos. They're put together in about 25 minute chunks. They're easy, they're entertaining. Um, and I guarantee you, you'll learn something new from it. I guarantee you, you'll learn something that helps, you know, put that puzzle piece together in your own health journey, right? So I told you normally it's $5.97 right now. It's on sale for $2.97. Um, that's the foundations of health course. And it's absolutely, it's my, it's my baby that I put out in the world that I made that took all the tens of thousands of dollars I spent on my education, all the tens of thousand dollars I spent on my own health journey and continue to, right. As I'm still peeling back this onion of the sleep, uh, uh, apnea, you know, how amazing is it to work with somebody who's been there, done that, and is also a practitioner and continues um, to research and learn more, you know, to help others out. So again, this course is normally $5.97. Right now it's on sale for $2.97. There'll be a link in the show notes, um, or you can go to my website and it's on my website as well. It's the Foundations of Health course, but it's absolutely incredible. And I, you know, it's life-changing, you know, so obviously don't take it if you want to stay stuck if you want to stay exhausted, if you want to stay reactive and bitchy, right? Overweight, <laughs> autoimmune diseases, you like taking your prescriptions, then no, don't take the course. Don't take the course. But if you're finally sick of making excuses, if you finally want to take charge of your own healing journey, if you want the energy, if you want the vitality, if you want your life back, you want to play with your kids, you want to have good sex with your husband, you want to have time and energy to go, you know, have fun with your friends again, Take the course, check it out. I guarantee you'll learn something new.
Make sure to have a healthy day and thanks for joining me. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this episode. Even if you found one little piece of inspiring nugget in it, this is how we change people's lives. This is how people get better. This is how people get hope. So please make sure that you are liking, sharing, and subscribing. Stay tuned for the next episode. You're not going to want to miss it. And while you're at it, head to my website, thelimeboss.com, and make sure you download your free video series, Real Cooking for Real Life. Learn amazing, delicious meals in 20 minutes or less. Learn why and how we cook certain things that are toxin-free, free of contaminants, and, and how to get a delicious, healthy meal under 20 minutes. You're not going to want to miss out. That's thelimeboss.com.